Carlito here back with another video on your screen. I'm here with some young talent, you know, of San Antonio, Texas, you know, upcoming event, you know, uh, May 26th. And, uh, you know, y'all go follow her. Her links will be in the description down below. Thank you again for coming on to the channel and uh, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Ebony. I fight at 118, 118, and I'm glad to be here with you today. Thank you, thank you. And uh, what got you into the sport of boxing? You know, what made you want to be a boxer? So, uh, I actually get this question asked a lot. My uncles in Mexico, they were boxers too. So, I remember, you know, waking up Saturday, Sunday morning, and my whole family was there, you know, watching them fight. And I was like, you know, I want to do something like that. So, you know, years later, whenever we moved over here, I was starting high school, I was starting to get, you know, um, I was a little reckless, as you can say. And I just wanted to, you know, get a sport that, you know, can get me all that anger or, you know, calm me down in a way. And go boxing was it for me. For real, for real, that's nice. And uh, did, did you have a favorite boxer, a uh, professional growing up? Yes, so my favorite all-time boxer is always gonna be uh, Pacquiao. I like the way, you know, his style, he's fast, he goes in and out. And also, like, that's inside the ring and outside of the ring, he's really, he's really humble, you know, he's a family man and I like that too. For sure, for sure. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a really good, uh, he's a legend in his own right. And, um, you know, talk about your preparation for this upcoming fight. You know, how are you feeling? How was training camp? I'm feeling great. Uh, training camp has been tough this time. Uh, in the mornings, I go for a run, usually five miles, four miles, depending on the weather, too, because, you know, the weather hasn't been stable at all. And afterwards, you know, I go to the gym, and then that's in the morning again. In the afternoon, I go back to the gym again for another three hours. So it's been tough, and I'm feeling ready. I'm feeling ready for this weekend for sure. Exciting, exciting. So what can we all expect, you know, under the lights of San Antonio, you know, May 26th? Well, I expect for me and her, you know, to go at it, you know, bring work to you guys, and, you know, you guys be ready. Stay for tuned sure. for more. For sure. And did you did you happen to catch the fights from yesterday, Katie Taylor? I the Katie did Taylor not. fight? No. I did not. Know. Yeah, that fight was really crazy, and uh, that's why I kind of give my hat off to to the women rest to the women wrestling and to the women boxers yeah. out there because um, they're always, you know, they're doing. They seem like they're doing a lot more than the men do in a lot of ways in that fight, and um, with, with all, all the punching and, and all the maneuvers and all the counters, it's it's uh it's really intense. Yeah. I didn't get to see it, but I'll, no. I'll watch the highlights. Yeah, but like, it just seems like every every woman's fight that I originally watch, it's always, always like five times, ten times better than the guys. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. But um, thank you again. And uh, let everyone know where they can follow you at if they want to follow your journey. So you guys can follow me at Devony. Um, it's Dev Cuevas underscore dot Dev Cuevas dot underscore. That's my Instagram or Facebook, Dev Cuevas. Thank you. Thank you again. And a big shout out to my sponsors, you know, the best tequila brand in the game, Mala Azul. You know, the links will be in the description down below. And, um, you know, Texas Bids, you know, always doing big things. You know, the truck bids of Texas, they're always doing big things. They're always, um, you know, supporting the brand, supporting the, the culture and supporting the boxers of San Antonio and nationwide. Appreciate you all again. It's been Car yeah. Carlito, one love, we out.